My name is Rod Newcomb. I'm the Director of Student Success and Support, and my focus and goal and the goal of my department is student success. We regularly partner with faculty and departments to help us hire graduate students for coverage in the Student Success and Support Center and recommendation of our undergrads who have had the class and received an A in the class and they get the recommendation before we hire them. Uh, we also work with professors and, and faculty to ensure that we have materials to run our supplemental instruction. When we run supplemental instruction we do multiple review sessions up to 16 per class per week using the problem sets and information from the professors. We also run review sessions for professors for exams and sometimes when it's a really high level class we have a professor run a review session for us in the center or we set up logistics and, uh, and uh, book a, an auditorium for them to run a review session for exams. earlier the better. So if it's the beginning of the class and it's the first few sessions, maybe that's not something you jump on because they could be uh, just changing classes. But if they've missed several classes in the beginning and they're still registered for your class, putting an academic alert is not a bad idea. That at least helps us track and make sure they're on campus. We support faculty in a lot of ways for student success starting with a topic review including one-on-one -on -one tutoring, uh, exam review before exams and quizzes, uh, supplemental instruction related to all topics and hel helping students under have a full understanding of the material. We also proctor exams. Now, this can help professors in several ways. We may have students that have accommodations for their disability and maybe double time in exam or an other accommodation. We proctor those exams on site. We also go proctor an exam of student had a verified absence due to illness or due to a academic event or an athletic event and we proctor those. We proctor between 1,800 and 2,000 exams in a semester, over 600 exams just during finals week. We also help students and f through faculty related to academic alerts and tracking down students, nudging them back to class, nudging them back on track and just again working towards student success in a partnership with, with faculty. Faculty buy-in in the support of student success is crucial. Everything we do is obviously for student success, but ensuring that the students know that you care and that you're involved in their success is a big piece of, of making sure that they follow through as well. At letting them know that you're there for them, their support, but also suggesting that they might be, find help going to Student Success and Support Center and other resources on campus. It's a, it's a big piece of knowing that they're supported, they feel supported, and they really ha get a buy-in and engagement to the university. When students are looking for help, they come in my office quite often, they'll say, hey, I'm having a hard time in this class. And I'll say, okay, well, we have tutors for that, we have grad students for that, we can talk about that. But have you talked to your professor? They look at me like I'm crazy and I have two heads. Now, I'm the first to admit I'm a little off. But that being said, I really explained to them that who's better, who knows your topic better than your professor. So we really encourage them to go talk to their professor, get some feedback, find out, ask them questions, go and get help from them. So if you get a student that comes to you and says, hey, Rod sent me to you, I probably did because I wanted to make sure they're reaching out to the professors and asking for help. Now, a piece of that sometimes is this, I tell the student, not only do you walk up and say, hey, doc, I really need help. The professor says, sure, what can I help you with? I don't know, everything. That's a tough question to answer week three, let alone week 14 or 15. So I also tell them, when you go to your professor, come prepared. Whether it's you read a paragraph in a chapter and you don't understand, mark that page. Or if you've tried a problem three times, got three different answers, bring that to work on. Makes that whole session much more valuable and much less frustrating to you both. 